Hey everyone, it's the Yellow Chili with another episode of Let's Play Empyrean Galactic Survival. We are playing with the Project Eden mod enabled and we are building our first base. It's not actually our first base, we have had or we've been using a different building as a base before. But this is the first one we are constructing ourselves and uh, we are gonna pick up right where we left off in the last episode we put in the walls and the ground uh, there's one wall that's sort of missing um, we'll see if we're gonna continue there or add like a round glass front here there will definitely be glass up here and um, also a nice door and um, this time we're gonna start by putting a ceiling into this now with the ceiling it's just uh, exactly as Everything we did before, you can just add the blocks by um, by drawing them, and if you press Control, you can add. See, this is some that, something that happens sometimes. Um, blocks that are not attached to anything, they will just not be able to hold. Now it does hold in the, up in the ceiling. This happens when you use the the draw tool. Um, the game might sometimes think, okay, this block isn't actually attached to anything. Um, well, in fact, it is, and um, it is somewhat of a glitch, but it isn't, it isn't that, that important. If that happens, just pick up the blocks that fell down and um, reattach them. So, uh, whoops, did we... Oh, shoot, we just uh, made a hole in the ceiling. It's just a very small hole, um, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's see what that looks like from the top. It's not even visible, is it? No. Oh, it's here, right? Is that it? Not 100% sure. It's not too bad, definitely. And uh, we're running out of blocks again, so let's uh, pick up the blocks from here. I have decided not to gather any more resources, so we'll just work with what we have here. We just got 69 blocks and, oh, we can't even pick them all up, so we'll leave them in the, in the constructor. Even with volume enabled, the small constructor has an unlimited storage, so keep that in mind. You can always store stuff in there and it will be safe from everything. The Xerox will not attack this uh, constructor, um, so this is a very, very good way of um, saving important stuff um, that you don't want to carry around or cannot carry around due to weight limitations. So um, just put it in the constructor. All right, um, we can attach one here, we cannot put one here. Uh, in this case, let's stick to the find drill mode. It will take a little longer, but I do not, I really don't want to have another hole in the wall. So, uh, not in the wall, in the ceiling. Let's see if we can put those in here. It works here, there's no real explanation why it would work here, because it seems there is that there's a lot less um, soil over there. We'll remove that with a fine drill option and we're gonna try drilling here because we really don't want to make a, a hole up here. We still can't do that. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I pressed 8 but somehow it doesn't work. Oops, this should be fine now. No, it still isn't. That's interesting. Sometimes you just have to play around a little bit with it. Um, see, we're again very close to making a hole in the ceiling and... Uh, oh, this is um, not the easiest place to put a place a block, but we managed to do it. So, let's be happy and not think about it anymore. Yeah, we're gonna use the regular drilling here. This should be fine. But it's not fine here. So let's use fine drill here.
looking good so far. Now, right here, um, this is sort of the edge. You're gonna wanna be careful with that because drilling too much at the edge will probably just remove a huge um, portion of it. So we might wanna be, um, wanna restrain ourselves a little bit and check a little more often if we can uh, fit in a block. Fit one in here and here. That's the last one. All right. This is something um, you really want to um, keep in mind. Even in the later game, there's a lot of times when you want to drill something or fill something and you don't want to run out of drill charges, just as with multi-charges. So check that frequently, check if you have enough in your inventory. And if not, make a couple, because they're not heavy, you can always carry two or three more. Um, I tend to have 10 plus on me. So just in case... Um, something happens you want to you want to salvage a POI or something you will not run out of charges for your tools uh, how are we gonna do this I think this would this is sufficient size wise at the very least so we're not gonna add another row of blocks to the front By the way, you always have a light if you're wearing a suit, and we are wearing a suit. Just press L and you will activate it. I think we're close to making a hole again. But we don't need to. Alright, not too bad. I think we're gonna pick up the rest of the blocks and uh, while we're at it, um, get some of the O2. And we definitely need some food, so let's, uh, not from the HV, we're gonna get it from the SV. Let's pick up the block. Oh, there's so many blocks here that we will not be able to use. I don't think we're gonna, we need any more. We are going to want to construct... This one. This guy can only make regular windows. You could potentially use um, hardened steel, I believe, um, for the windows. De you definitely need some sort of um, improvement. There's another win win window version. Uh, not a windows version. Um which is a little more durable, but since our plan is not to get shot at anyways and just um, defend the base from the Xerox, we, we can probably live with these, and if not, we can always... Um, we will always be able to exchange them later on with... Uh, we have glass, nice. To exchange them with the hardened window. What are they called? Um, I forget. Something with improved windows, definitely. There, there's a, a large version for the base. There's also a small version for vessels. Oh, by the way, let's pick up a few of them uh, right now. This is going to take a while. So we have two. Uh, I will be able to show you what they look like at the very least. Put that with us. Okay, let's take that too. So, windows, there's uh, different shapes available. If you press the right mouse button, you can use um, the regular one, one times one, there's one times two, there's two times two. 
But keep in mind that a um, two times two window is not as durable as four one times one windows. So you might want to uh, be aware of that in some respects. It doesn't matter for our purposes here. Uh, we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna place it here. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then as I said, we're gonna make a round um, sort of a thingy here. Yeah, this will be the corner of the base. So, uh, while the constructor is still busy making windows, let's um, continue to... Actually, no. We're going to make a glass ceiling or glass roof too. That is going to look really nice. Good. Let's use a regular drill here because this seems to be quite uh Still a quite thick layer of rock. But over here we can't place a block, so we still can't place it. We got a little more. Sometimes, uh, if you're unable to place a block, it doesn't mean that there's something directly in the way. It could also be the surrounding. Uh, layers of whatever you have, soil, rock. So it may be worth giving it a try to um, drill like close to it and not exactly in the center of this um, block that we're in place. What was I gonna do? Was I gonna... No, I think we're gonna just gonna f close it down here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Um, we are gonna do this, and obviously we need to place a block here, which we can do. That's really nice. We don't need to drill anything. So this will be the the sort of um, the non-windowed part of the base because there's um, there's just gonna not gonna be no, there's not gonna be any anything to see out there anyways. So we don't need a window there. Why can't we drill that? Now we can. All right. Now let's go back to the constructor and uh, get some windows out of it. We have seven windows. I'm not sure if this is enough, but we can't make more because we do not have any glass and we do not have much silicon left. Now let's try and see. Yeah, we want to make glass roof. Okay, never mind. Um, how are we doing a power? Still okay, I would say. Um, you don't have a shield, but, so that's fine. What we can definitely do is disable the turns and weapons. We just have to remember to enable them again, in case there is an attack. Let's, for now, get all the basic resources t to this constructor, or at least the silicon, because you always need silicon for windows. Not a hundred. A hundred is a little bit too much, but we, we could certainly need, use eleven. Or 10. Yeah, so let's for now add some stuff to this constructor. Okay, let's try to um, not fall victim to suffocation. So. 
Another window. How many can we fit in here? This is just brilliant because we are also gonna need a door, and that's uh, this is the spot where the door is gonna go. All right. Um. Now, if you intend on making a glass roof, there is a couple ways to approach this. You could make it this way, but be aware. If you do it this way, you will not be able to place a, another window to the right side of this that aligns perfectly with the windows we placed down here because these windows are occupying this block. These blocks are occupied by the windows because we placed them like that. So you can't place anything there. If you want to make a real roof um, with corners, you are going to want to use this, this shaped window which will allow you to make a corner and that will align with the other windows perfectly. You could also just add um, two times one or one times one windows there and then put the other window uh, on top of this. So that would look like this. This is also possible because then uh, nothing would be occupied the block above. above. And um, we're not going to do this in this case because I want to make a round roof. So we're going to start using these. And we're going to flip them to the right direction. How many do we have? We have four left. So um, let's use those. That looks kind of nice. And um, I also like to use windows for, um, for greenhouses because it gives them a really cool look and it's also quite realistic because usually you would um, at least from from my gardening skill I would not um, build a greenhouse somewhere inside a mountain um, I would always try to to have the plants have access to at least some natural light not because I like the plants so much but because it saves energy you don't need to to turn the light on during the day uh, if there's uh, if the sun is out right um, unfortunately, there aren't any daylight sensors in Empyreon yet, which would be a really nice addition to turn certain lights on and off um, just for nighttime. But we'll see, maybe that uh, we will have that in later versions. Is there a real round corner? I think it's this one. Alright, we're gonna take that. And then for this, for these two, do that again. Now we could also um, move these, uh, remove these blocks and um, exchange them with blocks that are also round. We might do that later on, um, but not now. So uh, we need, we definitely need more windows, but I think five will do. We're not going to need more than five. Okay, this guy is really slow. Three. It's a start. this block for now and then uh, drill this away although I'm not quite sure what it will look like from above yeah I don't think it doesn't really matter because even with the fine drill we're probably we probably be drilling away part of the mountain so let's just do it okay so this is now enclosed the only part that's missing is this so we need a door which is a one um, a one times one block and we're gonna need another window to go um, above the door. So let's see how the constructor is doing. I am totally aware that I could also use, um, we're gonna use a regular door here for now, that I could also use the base constructor. I mean, we have everything we need in our cargo hold, but the moment we turn on the base, the countdown for the Xerox base attack uh, will start kicking in and as I said before we're not going to set this base to public 
So uh, we want to postpone this timer for as long as we can. All right, we have a wonderful door here. Now, when placing doors, be aware that only some types are airtight. If you right click, you will get this menu. You have a, a selection of doors that you can place. There's also a round, round door. We could have placed it here, um, but I prefer to have the door here because it's, it has a nice view towards the lake. So we're just gonna use a regular door. These look similar, but this one is a centered door that is in the middle of a block, sort of, instead of at the end like the regular doors. Also, if you hover over the doors with your mouse, you will see that it says hit points, energy in, mass, placeable, size, and airtight. So only the doors that have um, non-transparent doors are airtight. This one is not airtight. You can see it says airtight falls, this one is airtight, and this one is not. So for this one, I'm thinking we're gonna go with this because it looks like a, are we taking this? Yeah, we could also take this. This looks more like a like an entrance door. And now we could also just uh, place the window above here. And now, this place is now airtight. At least I hope it is, um, but I don't think I made a mistake. Um, we can still drill away this. And uh, we don't have oxygen here. Um, and also, the temperature is still one degree. It shouldn't be if, if the place was really airtight. So this is kind of interesting. I wonder why this is the case. Probably because we don't have oxygen in here. But if you are wondering if your base is airtight, there's another option. If you press the N button again, go to debug and then press show airtight blocks. You can look around and you will see which blocks are airtight. So in this case, all of our blocks are airtight. If a block is not airtight, then you will see this um, in a way, the block will be displayed as what it really is because then the block is not airtight. Everything that's green is airtight. So we've done a good job with this. Um, the base is airtight, but we have no heat. Obviously the base is not running which is why um, the door is not automatic and which is also why the temperature is not up, I just realized. So the next step will be coloring. Before we place anything, we wanna color it because we're just gonna uh, have to pick it up if we wanna color underneath it or behind it. So let's do that first. Since we have a sort of um, stone base in a rocky environment, let's also use a texture. The texture tool we made earlier, it's not hard to use. You just equip it, press right mouse button, you have a selection of textures up here, colors are down here. You can also configure colors. You can just select a color and then press this button and you can um, change the values. You can make it totally red, you can make it green, whatever you like. And you can also press undo to return it to the regular color. So we just, um, we're just gonna take no color because I have in mind a, um, a texture that I want to use that I like the way it is. Either this one, I will show you what it looks like on an entire wall. Oh, now see, now I pressed green and in green this really doesn't look too good. At least I don't think it does. Um, this is also a very nice texture, but for the inside I prefer this, I must say. We could give it a sort of brownish look. or even a reddish look. No, I think I'm gonna go with a natural one. Now, if you wanna remove something, a texture from the wall, uh, if you still have this selected, the te same texture, and you say, okay, I just wanna remove the color, this will not work. So you always have to remove both before you can place the same texture with no color on top of the old one. So let's just uh, texture it this way. There is another option that lets you texture an entire block. You can select it here. We don't want to do this right now. If I select this and select the texture, you will see that on the bottom right here, this block is now fully colored in red. It means you're painting an entire block. Now, if I were to paint this block from here, all the other sides would also get this texture, but we don't want to do that right now because we're just painting the inside.
Like before, you can just hold and aim at everything that is in range. You're going to want to be careful, though. If you click again, you will you will turn the texture, and it only goes two ways. So depending on the orientation of the block, it may not fit. If this is the case, re consider removing the block and placing it in the default orientation. But we didn't make any such mistake, so we're just going to try to color behind that. Apparently it's working quite well. Um, so yeah, this is the wall texture. And I have a few other um, things in mind that I want to try out for the uh, base textures. Um, I am not quite sure what we're going to use for the bottom texture. So um, either it's like a, a carpet-like thing, like these here, especially for the for the living quarters, or we could also use some sort of um, iron, whatever this is, girder, steel thing. Um, not 100% sure. Um, this is also a really nice one that I like. It adds some color to it. I think we're going to go with this, because this is sort of um, neutral. Uh, we could use this in the the living area but also in the constructor area it looks like it's fireproof so let's just use that for now but you're free to use anything you like um, there are a lot of textures and if you give them different colors there's a lot of variety so um, this is really up to to anyone uh, to design a or to find the design everybody likes best and I'm not a very creative person so I'm glad that uh, there's so many um, textures to choose from um, so I can just like add two textures sort of at random and then uh, Yeah, it'll just look sort of okay-ish All right, we still need color for the ceiling um, for the ceiling. I think I'm gonna go with them with something very boring um, We're gonna make it not gray. We have gray walls. Maybe we're gonna make the ceiling sort of light brownish So we have some color in here The way I do that, I always do this. I paint um, the side layers, so I do not um, accidentally repaint something I painted before. Um, and then after that, I can just sort of uh, move around freely, and there's not too much danger of uh, changing a previous, uh, previously assigned texture. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Um, up here, there's no texture yet, so we're gonna add um, the same texture we used for the wall, which is this one. There is one downside to these round windows. Uh, you cannot have the texture only fill the inside. Like, uh, if you've played The Sims, you know what I'm talking about. The texture of a carpet, for instance, would only go to this wall, because the game realizes, oh hey, this is one enclosed room. Uh, and the texture is only going to be applied to the inside of this room. It doesn't work like that in Empyreon. Maybe it will in future versions, but so far you on you can only pa paint the entire side of a block. Alright, um, I guess that is it for now. We're near the end of the episode. Um, we have uh, finished the glass roof up here. We have uh, added some textures. So next time we'll get to the furnishing. Uh, if you like this video, please um, like it on YouTube, comment, subscribe, share it. Uh, I would really ap appreciate it. And um, also comment uh, if you want me to uh, change something, improve something. If you don't like building episodes uh, that much, I can certainly uh, make this a lot shorter. Um, but uh, I will appreciate any comment and any like. Feel free and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.